All right, guys, so I started with a chilled cake. I had um, three different layers. I leveled each one, and then I piped a border of buttercream around the outer edge. This is referred to as a dam. The reason to do this is to help hold the filling in place, especially when working with soft fillings like I was this time. Then um, I come and I use um, my piping bag to put, I just add a little bit more buttercream around the outer edge once it's stacked to help hold that filling in place and avoid any like oozing or bulging of that um, at the end result. Then I chilled my cake for about five minutes and then I started to crumb coat the cake. This is just basically adding that first layer of buttercream to help seal in those crumbs in that first coat so it doesn't make it to the end product. Once I was done with my crumb coat, I went ahead and put my cake in the freezer for about maybe five minutes. Once I knew that the buttercream was firm to the touch, then I went ahead and brought it back out and started the second coat of buttercream. And then once that was done, I put the cake back in the freezer for just a couple of minutes again. Once that was nice and firm, then I just added a couple of dabs here and there for um, just little imperfections that I thought I um, noticed. And then that just allowed me to have a very nice smooth finish and um, be able to finish the rest of the details. While I was waiting um, to make all the details, I did place my cake in the freezer again just to make sure that it stayed nice and firm. Here you see I took green fondant and just, um, I'm making the cactus. This was a Mexican themed cake and just had cactuses all around the cake. And I'm just showing you here how easy it was to make that. And just basically three different sizes of green, rolled them out, and then I took my X-Acto knife and made the impressions, like those fine lines that the cactus has. And then I'm just applying each of them around the cake. And then I don't show, I, did, I do this off camera, but I do the quilt and I do some chili peppers. The chili peppers were very easy to make. I just took red fondant and then I hand rolled them. And then for the green, I just took um, like a star cookie cutter, a small one, and I placed that on the top for like the stem. Then here is the quilt that I was talking about. It was basically just all these colors I cut out and placed them over white fondant to make it look that way. And then the hat, just a circle cutter. And um, it was pretty easy. Thank you so much for watching, guys.